Well, I think it is extremely important that women are part of the international justice system and unfortunately we are not there in full force yet. The International Criminal Court actually is a very good example of how women have managed to reflect their interest, interest in, the, in, the, in the provisions, in the legal framework, but also to participate in the implementation. It's extremely important in order to reflect this interest of women and making sure that they are part of the decision-making process. Well, um, to fight crimes you need two dimensions. You need prevention, so the global community needs to do more on prevention of crimes by building capacity, by promoting the rule of law, by promoting democracy in all societies. This is huge in order to prevent crimes. When you cannot prevent, accountability is absolutely essential. And that is why this court was created in order to ensure that there is accountability for these crimes. Accountability is also a way of contributing to prevent. And actually the, the, the Rome Statute preamble says this, that uh, we believe, and it is the basic uh, uh, rationale for creating this court, that by providing justice you will also help to prevent these crimes, gender crimes and other uh, uh, atrocity crimes. I do have a lot of hopes, but I do think it's a continuing struggle. Um, as the president uh, of this court, I've been tried, I, I have tried myself to promote efforts to have uh, uh, gender equality at the court and beyond, and for that we, I have liaised with organizations outside in global community that are trying to do that. Um, but we do see that it's extremely difficult but we need to fight, we need to promote these goals, and I think uh, we are making progress, but progress is slow and we need to do more. In law or with, in any career, you really need to, first you need to believe in what you are choosing, and once you choose, you need to have uh, the, uh, you have to be resilient, you need to be persistent, and you need to be focused and you need to work very, very hard. And you have to work with others. Uh, the court, for instance, is a good example of what is uh, the collective, uh, it's, it's a collective effort that brings an outcome. And you need to be part of a team, you need to be part of a collective effort, but you need to work very hard. I do keep it because I do believe in it. And I think this is extremely important, that you don't become uh, a bureaucrat, that you really uh, uh, come and, and with always this understanding on why we're here, why are we doing this, and that keeps you going because sometimes it's very, it's very hard and sometimes it's very frustrating and sometimes you think, well, I cannot cope with all this. Well, you can if you really continue to believe in what you're doing and you continue to have in your mind, why are we here? So that is the way to go and to be effective in these type of institutions. What is the added value? Well, first of all, uh, we are half of humanity. So already we provide more possibilities to uh, ensure that the, uh, the best people are dealing with, the, uh, with these type of, of jobs. Uh, so we, uh, we enlarge the pool of good people that you can choose for. And then as a woman also, you bring also an understanding that may be uh, a better understanding of this half of humanity. You, you do bring the understanding of what are their interests, why they need certain outcomes, why they suffer certain matters in a different way. So I, we, we must uh, be part of all these processes because we bring all that with us.